All right, so welcome to the wonderful part two of how to model and texture and animate and render a solar system. <clears throat> so in this one, we're going to set up the animation. Um, and at the end of it, we'll just uh, be doing a play blast uh, for my GMMD uh, 351 students. And uh, in the third one, um, then I'll just, uh, then I'll show how to um, set up the Arnold renderer, renderer and uh, render out um, with that. You need a, an extra program call, called Virtual Dub if you want to render out individual frames. But enough of that. Let's go on uh, with this. So where we left off with our heroes, uh, the uh, all the keys are in there. You can see that it's all rotating around. All the objects, all the planets are rotating around their own axes. The Earth has a rotating uh, moon. Um, so what we want is we want to make sure that these guys all go um, at their own speeds. So they don't all rotate around all at one speed. You know, there's some kind of clever tricks to do uh, in order to get that to, to work. So first, let's go into the uh, into the animation editor in the graph editor and let us select all these guys we're going to um, open everyone uh, open all these guys up and click at the top and you have to open them up um, in order to select all of them so you'll notice when we look at this here uh, that uh, and this little button over here will uh, frame everything on the screen right there. Everything uh, has um, some ease in, ease out. We want to change all of this to linear. Uh, so to do that, we just click on this little guy here, and now it's all linear. So when we go out of that and we render it or we uh, we play it, it goes at a constant velocity. So that's step one. Uh, now what we do is we're going to make these guys so that they continue to rotate past um, the uh, 120. In order to do that, we need to increase the timeline uh, for the for the animation. So we're going to change this down here to 2000, and you'll notice that our sh our slider went all the way down here, so that we can add some extra. Um, we can add all those other frames. So now if I go back to the beginning and I play, it's going to rotate all around. And then when it comes back here, everything's going to stop. And it all stops. But we can see that the slider still goes. So we don't have to keep keyframing it. We can tell it just to keep going. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if I click on the moon group, uh, just as an example, and the moon, and I go over to our uh animation editor the graph editor and i select this guy right here uh see i don't think i have to select that guy um then i go to curves post infinity cycle and then i close that and now it should keep going Huzzah. now if we go even closer we should see the moon also rotating because we've done post infinity on that as well yes it is Neat. So that's how you keep it going without actually having a keyframe on it. All right, so that's some cool stuff. <clears throat> Let's add that to the rest of it. So we'll go over here. We'll go over here. We'll uh, select all of them. We'll go into Windows, Animation Editor, Graph Editor, bring it all up, and select these guys. These are all the guys that are just going to keep going and going. And go to Curves post-infinity cycle. And so now we can press play and it's going to do its thing. It goes up to 120 and then it goes past it. Huzzah! All right. So that's step one for it. And now after that, uh, we're going to start making the planets go at their own um in their own uh, speed. So we're going to have the the sun um, go for the full, or go to 1,000, 
And then each one of the other ones is going to go up from 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right, so the sun. Now, there's a couple ways to do this now. One way that's a little clumsy is you could go in here and you could move this over to where it's at, 120. You could right click and you could click uh, cut and then you could go over all the way to 1000 and then you could click paste. But I think there's a more elegant way of doing it. So if you have sun uh, selected. And do I have animation editor, graph editor? Nope, I didn't have it up there. Let's click that open. All right, so, so we just select this one guy here. Um, not the other ones, just one keyframe. And you'll notice right over here, the stats. 120 and 360. So 120 is the time up there and 360 is the value and that's the rotation. So we can see 360 over there, it's rotation. So you don't want to change 360, but we want to change the stats here. So it goes to keyframe 1000 and enter. And now you see it's gone all the way over there. So that's good, that's what we want and it's still linear. So, and it looks like nothing changed here because I did this uh, frame everything, uh, but it has because we can see up at 1000 there. So now if I go back to one and I press play, you'll see the sun is going a lot slower and the sun does rotate very ever so slightly. Um, okay, so back there. Now let's uh, do the rest of them. So we go to Mercury group and we'll go over to the graph editor select this guy so the first one is going to be 100 that's set venus is going to be 200 earth is going to be 300 oh dear and then uh, Mars is going to be 400. Jupiter is going to be 500. Saturn is going to be 600. Uranus is going to be 700. <laughs> and Neptune is going to be 800. I think I missed something. Nope, nope, I didn't. And Pluto will be 900. Yeah, so it's all good. Dunk. All right, so now if we go back here, we should see them all go at their own speed. Look at that, it's gorgeous. All doing their thing. And you can see that the moon is going around the earth. These guys are rotating, they're doing their own thing. It's gone past the 120 mark and it just keeps going. And I can also put this up here, so it's going to keep going past the 1,000. So, all right, that's looking good. Okay, we're almost done for the people of GMMD 351. Now we're going to go over there, save it. What we want to do for, um, we only have a couple of little things that we want to change. We want to put in um, a... Um, we want to put in a, 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 a star field around everything. So in order to do that, we go to create polygon primitives sphere, and then we make that thing way big so that it uh, covers everything. That's pretty good. Um, so now with that one selected, we want to flip the faces. So surfaces, nope, mesh display, reverse. 
There we go. So now everything looks black. However, if we go over here to shading and select back face culling, now we're able to peek inside. All right. So there's our uh, planet. All right. Save that guy. Show our uh, our textures. Let's change that to sky field. Now let's add a, a shader for the sky field. So I'll go over here, create. And we're adding that. Then we need to go to an image name and then textures. Find our sky field. Minus star map, 4K. It's just like that. Uh, I don't remember where I got it, but it looks pretty. Uh, move that out here. Click on this guy. Right click over there. Assign material to selection. And kablam, we're right in there. Look at that. Gorgeous. And let's also, uh, for the sake of the image, let's turn off our wireframe on shaded and deselect all of it. So now we have a nice little thing over there. Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, so um, now that we've done that, save that out. Um, for the uh, purposes of just rendering our little thing out, uh, let's do just a play blast. And this was for uh, the GMMD 351. So to do a play blast, it's a it's a quick render. It doesn't have any lighting in it. It's all, uh, I think it's just how you have your screen set up. Um, and so Maya software. So we, in the timeline, we just right click in the timeline, go over to play blast, and then just click on that. But for curiosity, let's look at what we got, what we have here. So first off, um, we have the format is AVI, quality, display from window, scale down uh, half, and the frame padding is four, so that'll make, make it a lot easier and quicker to render out. Uh, the movie file is that. Now where it's going to output is important. Uh, I think I have mine, my project set right in the solar system project file. So it's going to go right out into um, solar system movies. Um, oh, yeah, no, actually, the, the GMMB students just, you don't even have to do a play blast. But this is, uh, I'd, I'd like for you guys to, to at least export it because it'll look, uh, you'll be super impressed with yourself. And you can marvel at your amazingness. Um, so let's see here. So solar system. Uh, let's type it play blast. And then play blast. So now it draws it over there. Those are pretty fast. Do -de do -de do I don't even know if it'll draw these guys in it. And once it's completed that, it'll load up the program on your computer uh, that you have associated with the AVIs, which mine is VLC player. And there you go. Oh, it does. It's doing all the little things, the little elements, showing how many faces and all. So that's our quick little animation. And it looks lovely. Okay, so in part three, I'm going to go over how to uh, set up the Arnold rendering uh, and how to render it out into um, a final uh, video. You don't need to do this if you're in GMMD, but if you have a little extra few minutes, uh, give it a shot and check it out. Thanks for watching.